When deliveries of the McLaren F1 began in 1994, its astonishing performance was demonstrated in a variety of situations. His actual acceleration performance included an impressive 3.2 seconds from 0 to 96 km per hour, 60 mph, and an impressive 12.8 seconds from 0 to 241 km per hour, 150 mph. He has also been tested for top speed several times, and in 1998 he recorded a top speed of 391 km per hour using a prototype XP5. By the way, this maximum speed was measured using a perfectly circular maximum speed test circuit at the Nardo circuit in Italy, and the rules state that measurements are taken twice, in the forward direction and in the reverse direction, and the average value is recognized as the maximum speed. Therefore, the official data here officially recognizes 386.4 km per hour as the maximum speed, its performance and the brand value of McLaren which is top-notch in the world of motorsports. It was a natural idea for many privateers to consider investing in F1 as a motorsport. However, McLaren initially had no intention of converting the F1 into a competition model, and was strongly aware that it was a model for experiencing the ultimate on-road performance. However, there is no doubt that F1 will appear on circuits in some form in the future and it took a long time for the company to reach a consensus within the company that it would be a better idea to produce a competition model ourselves. It wasn't necessary. Due to this background, McLaren announced the F1 GTR in January 1995. It was undoubtedly a competition model made by McLaren, and it was also the moment when a McLaren machine made a comeback in a category other than F1 GP for the first time in a while. The F1 GTR's exterior area was renewed based on the GT car vehicle regulations at the time, and the use of various mechanisms for ground effects and a variable rear wing that also functioned as an air brake was not allowed, but the rear equipped with a large wing. The design of the front bumper spoiler and air intakes on the roof have also been changed. The engine installed is a 6064cc V-type 12-cylinder manufactured by BMW M, and the basic specs remain the same but its tuning has been further advanced, and the maximum output is 636 PS. Actually, it was limited to about 600 PS with a restrictor to adjust performance. The mounting method was also rigidly mounted on the monocoque. The entire powertrain, including the clutch, gearbox, and differential, has been designed to be suitable for motorsports use. The speed of the F1 GTR was as expected. In its debut race in 1995, the BPR series opened with a stunning debut win at Jerez, and seven F1 GTRs entered at once for the 24 hours of Le Mans that year. He was able to win this toughest battle. The F1 LM, of which only five were produced in 1995, was a special edition car commemorating the victory at the 24 hours of Le Mans, and all body colors were vibrant orange. The end plate of the rear wing has a logo indicating that it won the 24 hours of Le Mans, and the tail end is equipped with a special LM emblem. Another feature of this LM is that the front and rear tires are 18 inches in diameter, whereas the regular road specification has a diameter of 17 inches. According to the specifications announced at the time of production, its weight is 1062 kilograms, which is 70 kilograms lower than the normal road specification. The 1997 F1 GTR was introduced with a major aerodynamic overhaul. In addition to acquiring a distinctive long nose and long tail style, the displacement of the installed engine was reduced from 6064 cc to 5999 cc. The combined transmission was also changed to Enz Track 6 speed sequential. In order to produce these so-called evolution models, McLaren created the so-called homologation model F1 GT in 1997. Along with its unique styling, this GT is known as the final evolution of the McLaren F1. According to McLaren's announcement, the total production volume of the F1 series is only 106 cars, including road and competition models. This number is again listed in the Ultimate Series Speedtail that was born in 2018 as a limited production number. The Speedtail is also a model that uses a unique design inherited from F1, with the driver's seat located in the center of the cabin. The tradition of McLaren F1 has been inherited here.